Rise of the Ronin, Daniela, I thought it was amazing, right? I thought it was amazing because it felt like Sekiro, you know, die whatever a thousand times, whatever the, the title was for, for Sekiro. It felt like that. Um, it's, it's one of those, I, I don't know how you classify it. W what is this title? Is it, what is this genre? Very tough bosses to beat. Um, I, I want to say it's like a mixture, like from watching it. Cause I don't know what you would classify it as. It's not really quite hack and slash because the fight sequences that they were showing were like calculated kind of timings that I felt that's what it was giving off. Right. So it kind of reminded me of Sekiro or neo or some type of like right. of tsushima right vibe to it but not not white so dark soulsy that's the what i was looking for the dark souls you know one slash would take you out after spending 25 minutes on calculating every move of the boss and then you realize that you know they did one move you you missed it and then you're dead you know yeah i didn't i didn't get that vibe from it but i like not that hard of a difficulty of a game right but at the same time that's the entire reason why i was not interested in it mm. like i got it i'm i am a hack and slash type of person like if you know me you know if there's a block option i almost never use it mm. <laughs> like, okay it's just not in me for whatever reason i just want to button mash and get through this i'm a hack and slash type of person not like oh He's defending this way, so I got to block this way or be prepared. No, I just want to like steamroll through it. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm that type of player. So for me, like visually, it was nice, but I just wasn't feeling the gameplay, the mechanics of it. I you didn't like the flying? Mm, no, not really. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I did it. I did it. I just it looked nice, but you got you know you got. You know, 19th century Japan here with like some Western vibes. And I don't know. I just, I was very meh about it. I'm sorry. I just, I didn't. Like it had some types of elements too where it was kind of um, very Assassin's Creed-ish. Like there's one where he's kind of kind of sneaking through the bushes. So the person that's up in the tire whips them down to him, attacks him. Like, no. And I, I like Assassin's Creed. But Rise of the Ronin, I think, is just, it's just not for me. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. It looks, it looks amazing. I like everything that I saw there. I love the flying and the combat. Mm, I don't know because Sekiro was tough. It was a tough game uh, for me. So I don't like playing those experiences. I like tough when it's versus a player, you know, I was just thinking about this in real time, like PVP, a player takes me out. I could see him again and try to like, you know, take him next time. I like that difficulty, but for a game to be difficult just for the sake of being difficult, I don't think I've ever been a fan of that. You know, like when I think about Street Fighter, Dead or Alive, you know, games like that, you know, if the player's good and then I, I'm able to get a rematch, I like that difficulty versus, you know, the PC knowing every single move before I do it just by how I'm inching, you know, in front of them and stuff like that. I've never been... A fan of that so I, I just wanted to share that okay so rise of the ronin i like it i like what i'm seeing there you know and you're the resident ps5 person here so you're gonna play it first if you play it right no. <laughs> and then no. i'll see it on pc maybe if it comes out on ps plus and it's free it's one of the free games for the month sure i'll add it to my <laughs> library of like yeah yeah it's there because i'm claiming you for the free game <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll see it on PC two years from now. Okay, that's that's the deal. Okay, 